Hey everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian, and today's video will be answering the question, what is a complete graph? So let's get right into it. For starters, let's plop down a vertex here, and suppose this is our graph. Then this is a complete graph. A complete graph is a graph in which every distinct pair of vertices is joined by an edge. And here, there isn't a pair of distinct vertices not joined by an edge. It means that a graph is complete if wherever there can be an edge, there is an edge. And we can see that in this graph, there is no possible edge that could exist because there's only one vertex. Thus, it's a complete graph. But let's make it a little more interesting and throw down another vertex. And we'll throw down this blue edge here joining the two vertices. Now, this is a complete graph because every distinct pair of vertices in this graph is joined by an edge. There's only this one pair, and of course, they're joined by an edge. In particular, we say that this is K2, the complete graph on two vertices, which we write like that. The K means it's a complete graph, and the subscript tells us how many vertices are in the graph. So, the graph we previously discussed was K1, the complete graph on one vertex. And again, this is a complete graph because there isn't any place there could be an edge where there isn't an edge. I'll also mention that this graph, the graph that has an empty vertex set and an empty edge set, that is, a graph with no vertices and no edges, some authors consider this to be a graph, some people don't. It depends on the context and, of course, the author. But if it is considered a graph, then it is the complete graph on zero vertices. With that out of the way, let's look at a few more examples. So here we see that complete graph on zero vertices we just went over, the complete graph on one vertex, the complete graph on two vertices, and of course the complete graph on three vertices. And again, all of these graphs are complete graphs because every pair of distinct vertices in the graphs is joined by an edge, and there isn't a pair of distinct vertices not joined by an edge. Now I'll show you a slightly larger example. Which complete graph is this? Well, we see there are six vertices, so this is K6, the complete graph on six vertices. It is complete because every pair of distinct vertices is joined by an edge. You can look at some of them. Those two vertices are joined by an edge. Look at these two vertices, they're joined by this edge here. Every pair of distinct vertices is joined by an edge. Thus, it's the complete graph on six vertices. That's really all there is to it, but I'll mention one more thing before we go. That if you have a complete graph on n vertices, you know that there's n vertices in the graph, just because that's what this notation means. But how many edges are in the graph? Well, conveniently, there's a formula for it. So for the complete graph kn, there are n multiplied by n minus 1, divided by two edges. This happens to be the formula for the n minus one triangular number, and it's also the formula for the sum of the first n minus one natural numbers. So this formula gets around quite a bit. Pretty cool formula, but again, this is this formula here. That's the number of edges in this graph, the number of edges in the complete graph on n vertices. And that's all there is to it, so I hope this video helped you understand what complete graphs are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe to the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can't wait for